Welcome to another Synfig tutorial and uh, before we begin let me just say that my schedule has been you know all out of whack lately so videos that were supposed to be posted have not been posted so I apologize for that um, shortly af after this video there will be another Modeling Mondays video that was supposed to be posted on Monday but you know as I said the schedule was all messed up on my end but it's fixed now so Anyway, let's get right into this tutorial. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be making some TV static, our, our film grain, all right? And we're gonna be doing that using Synfig, of course. So the first thing that we need to do is right click here in the layers panel or come up here, but I'll be doing it right here. Right click, then go to, we wanna go to gradients and we will be using the noise gradient here. Right, so with our noise gradient there, come over into its properties and we wanna change interpolation to nearest neighbor so that we get a pixelated look, all right? And um, the next thing we want to do is, let me turn on the turbulent here so that we get you know um, somewhat of a variation here. Uh, you don't have to, but I like turn it, turning it on. And uh, I'm gonna change the gradient here because static is usually our film grain is usually black right so let me just bring this down and then click on this one bring it to white so black and white although let me see what this looks like if i switch these around uh all right we leave it like that okay so there we have that some nice detail there but of course film grain is not so blocky right it's usually smaller yeah, okay. than, than what we have here um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this origin point here and I'm just going to move it to lower the size. So I'm just moving it down, left, right. You can move it up, down, wherever you want, but it's main, mainly down to get the size of this just decrease a bit. And I think I'm going to go with, uh, let me, it's not moving okay i think i'm gonna go with this all right i like this okay so with your film green well once you are comfortable with what you have it's time to animate it and i'm not going to be using keyframes here because i want this to go um right throughout as long as i want so i'm going to go to animations also i want it to be random so i'm going to go to where it says animation speed here and the good thing is that we have converters that are able to do this. So right click, convert, and click on a random. And now if I should preview this um, by clicking my preview button here and then press play, we see we have our film grain. Now, the more time you spend here, the more, the, the better it, it will look, of course. But I'm gonna leave it here. And uh, I'm going to end this at frame 72, okay? Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and render this. But um, when you render, I would recommend rendering as an image sequence. So I'm gonna go to PNG here, and let me just change the name to green, like so. Uh, also, let me choose a folder here. I don't think I have a folder. So I'm gonna create one on the desktop here, call this uh, film green, create, and place it in that folder and let's click on render. And while it is rendering, you feel free to drink some tea or some coffee and eat some snacks and you know, or maybe you could have breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, whatever you fancy. But I am gonna sit here and you know, just say any minute now, any minute now, any minute now, any minute. <laughs> All right, let me stop that. <laughs> I'm I'm more than likely going to fast forward this so that we we continue when it's when the render is done. And we're back. So after 18 hours, it is final. Well, it, it, I'm, I'm joking. It didn't take 18 18 hours. But anyway, we're back. So um, I rendered them out as images. And uh, if you want to place this on a 
screen i would recommend not doing it inside synfig because currently when you render image sequences depending on how many images you have synfig might freeze or it might crash okay so i'm just going to go ahead and open up da vinci uh, this is my video editor of choice if not this then it would be blender and i'm just going to go to go to media here and i'm going to import the rendered images film grain just import all these okay and uh, i also have a image that i got from shutterstock that i just downloaded so let me import that here and as you can see it's just a room with a tv screen so we're going to place our film grain on the tv screen here all right and uh you can of course you can use whatever video editor that you're comfortable using all right um i'm just comfortable with davinci so let me just drop this on my timeline here and let me drop my film grain on top of that right there i'm just going to scale this down a bit to match up with my tv screen easy peasy as they say um okay let me move this over move this up da, da, da. so i'm not gonna make this perfect right because i want to get this done quickly let me just uh, actually crop left and crop right and the top here bring it down a bit like so and the bottom up a bit like so all right so let's say it's perfectly fitted on top of the tv screen right so of course when we play this we will see the film grain pretty cool huh and uh let me go ahead and just add some zoom to this i'm actually going to create a new timeline here so create a new timeline create and uh in this timeline i'm just going to put this one here and let me go uh, and zoom I'm just going to add a quick zoom effect to see what that looks like should look really cool yeah like that i like that all right so let me play this back Woo! and that is looking awesome yes it is Ooh. except for the green showing there <laughs> but of course we can fix that anyway so yeah so we created our film grain with synfig and uh you can pretty much use it any which way you want all right so that's it for this tutorial and i will see you in the next one